Yeah, got it. The hype is so big and it's been talked about so much. And yeah, I, I've actually missed uh, racing against the boys. You know, it's, it's what I live for and, and I enjoy it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what Christian does on race day. You know, it's, it's an interesting dynamic still. And you know, I, I, I used to prepare that I can't fail. Uh, nowadays I prepare so that I, I can win. It's just the reality of getting older that you have to prepare differently uh, and, 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 and training is, is consistent, but it's, it's not as aggressive as, as it used to be. But I still think I've got a, a, a good shot and I'm just really looking forward to racing one of the best who's ever done it. The last three years have been a really challenging roller coaster with, with everything going on. Uh, more things probably going wrong than they did right. And you change your perspective. I, I had to realize that, you know, uh, luck is, is also a part of the draw and that sometimes you can't force things even when you put everything into one basket. And um, it's been a tough realization. It's been a tough time. And um, yeah, I've been very fortunate to have had my family and, and, and some friends by my side. Um, but yeah, growth has always been uh, coming through struggle for me always in my life and uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of struggle and a lot of growth. I've heard so many times that the game's changed and how it's evolved and how things have gotten better and I have to be very honest that I wonder whether it has at the peak of the game because I can tell you now that at the peak of the Olympic game, Olympic distance game, um, they're not better than what they were uh, 10 years ago. You know, Alistair Brownlee at his top is still, you know, he's, he, he's still the one to beat. And um, I think in, you know, especially 70.3 or, or half, half iron distance kind of racing, this 100K racing, it's so new and it's so fresh that to say that things have changed would probably uh, be a little bit premature. What's definitely changed is the depth. You can see the swim. There are more guys up at the front. It's, um, it's aggressive and it's not that one or two guys are getting away. Same on the bike where the packs actually stay together. It's not being split up as much. But then the run performance as well. The times are good, but they're not that much better or, or any better despite the shoe development than what we've seen. So, you know, it's um, something I'm looking forward to actually checking out myself. <laughs> Personally, I have learned that the, the circle of people who are on your side is, is quite small, um, who are really there for you when, when things go down. Um, and, and, and that's okay um, because it's probably made my connection stronger uh, with them and made me also realize that, um, you know, when things are going great, everything's wonderful and sometimes it's, um, yeah, you just have to fight your own way through. What is something that you know for sure? Something that I know for sure? Um, <laughs> wow. I'm not too sure there is much I, I, I would bet on these days to know for sure, you know, certainties uh, uh, are probably something that's forever changing. And um, I think what I know for sure is that I have to be able to react to the changes in my life and that nothing is on a straightforward path ever. Swimming is Swimming is something I dream of when it happens in the Mediterranean Sea on a sunny, calm day. I am. I am Jan Frodeno and I am happy with myself. Cool.